Oh, she licked my eyeball. <laughs> this is a very little production. Hey, good morning everybody. Welcome to the vlog. Another unbelievably crazy beautiful day here in Michigan. I mean, take a look at the sky. It doesn't get any nicer than this. This is the perfect weather. I do not even want to go inside. Anyways, I am carrying a scale here in my backyard. I told you guys that I would weigh Speedy and give you a little bit of an update. So what do you say we go see what he's got going on and we'll get away from him and then see how much he gains during the summer. Look who is out and foraging around this morning. It's Speedy. Hey bud, what are you doing? How you doing out here? And you can see he's just able to just come out in the morning and enjoy that morning sun and, and just eat all he wants. He is looking so good. You know, I really do miss him at the shop, but it's so cool to see him enjoying the summer. And again, all day long, he can just kind of crawl around. Again, there's cactus over here. There's all this grass for him to eat. And then during the evenings, a lot of times, we'll let him out and just let him run around and, uh, and just enjoy him. You know, I miss him, but hey, I love the fact that he is enjoying his summer. What do you say we get a wait on this? This bugger. So there it is. He's 15 pounds. Okay, Speedy, we'll get you back in the little area over here. All right, bud. Okay. Be free. <laughs> so Speedy is 15 pounds on the button. So we'll go ahead and weigh him at the end of summer and see how much he's grown, eating himself into oblivion every day. It's gonna be a busy day. Let's go ahead and get over to the shop. What do you say we get today started? So Lori, I was thinking, what do you think about me going to a pet store and seeing if I can find a harness for, for Bella and take her for a walk? Oh, Bella, <laughs> That's what, I don't know. I don't think she likes that idea. <laughs> she just literally knocked you down. <laughs> literally, guys. She like when we let her loose, she just like climbs up things. She always seems to find her way on either my desk or Tina's desk or someone else's desk. And of course, she just destroys things. But I'm gonna think I'm gonna go to the pet shop. Maybe me and Noah can go and run and see if we can buy a little harness for her and take her outside. It's an absolutely gorgeous day, and uh, and we can do that while Lori is working. What else is new? Exactly. So, <laughs> Lori, can you do me a favor? Can you do some of my work while I'm gone too? I always do. <laughs> she doesn't. Seriously, she always makes it sound like she does all the work around here. And really, I do probably 90% of the work. <laughs> okay, I'm leaving now. Let's see if we can feed Karma. Some people have been asking recently, like, hey, I haven't seen Karma lately. So every now and then I just like to update and uh, it's feeding time for him. So I'll go ahead and see if he'll eat, if I can find tweezers. Okay, and then like always, I uh, always just throw a bunch of crickets in just so that Karma can go hunting a little bit too because I think it's a good thing to not only train him to eat off the forceps and tweezers, but also I want him to kind of get some exercise, run around, that's what they do. So, uh, so I'll throw these crickets in there. Okay, so Nora and I are off to the pet shop to see if we can find a harness for Bella because I look at what a beautiful day is. That. I want to take her out for her first walk outside. Noah, I was thinking the last couple days you have not had a hat on, yeah. which a lot of people have said, commented about, yeah. so that's cool. So I was thinking, what do you think about this? I was almost thinking about doing like an opposites day on the vlog. What do you guys think about that, an opposites day? And what I mean by that is that I'll be like, meaner and more sarcastic and straight to the point your mom will be real upbeat and like like yay positive energy and you will be like like the most helpful person in the world like you'll be like 
what can I help with? Yeah, I'd like to do waters and I'd like to feed. Oh. What do you think? I uh, know that's a horrible idea. <laughs> what do you guys think about Opposites Day? I think it's a good idea. That's so bad. Why do you think it's bad? Because I uh, do stuff. <laughs> no, you're so lazy. I'm not doing. I got too much stuff on my plate. Go ahead and <laughs> too much stuff like what? Too much stuff. <laughs> too much stuff like watching Netflix and YouTube. Yeah. All right. Let me know down in the comments if you guys want us to do Opposites Day and we'll do it. And encourage this guy here, Noah, to get off his bum and, and do an Opposites Day. Uh, for us, we're off to the pet shop and see if we can find a harness for Bella. I thought they actually had leashes for reptiles. So I guess we have to go to a dog and find like a miniature dog harness? Yeah. That'd be... Uh, that's too big. That's too small. No, that's too big. It's too small. No way. Bella would, would slip out of that. Guys, this... No. This is too small. No way. Maybe. That's too big. She could, That's too big. Let's hope we have the right size. I'm terrible at small. shopping. You think it's too small? Yeah. That's too so should we buy the bigger one too? Buy both and bring one back? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna buy both and bring one back. All right, Noah, I will bet you dollars to donuts that we're gonna have to get your mom to help us figure this out. No. You think you'll be able to do it? Yeah, this one seems easier. I don't have quite the faith in us as you do. All right, I'm gonna leave this up to Noah because I'm gonna be honest with you. I was trying to mess with it in the store and I couldn't figure it out, so it's up to you. We got it. Okay, so we are gonna take Bella in back and see if we can get this leash on her. Come on, girl. We're gonna come in back again, okay? Come on, come on up. Up you girl, girl. Oh, there's my sweetheart. Okay. So Lori, Noah says he can do this without you, but I have a feeling we're gonna need you. Do what? Harness. Well, we can do try. it. Why do you need me? I don't. Wait, why would he need me? I have full confidence in Noah. Okay. All right, let's do this, Noah. Let's get a cart. Get a cart. Why okay. would you need a? <laughs> we need no, to put. It's we, not an operation. We need to put Bella down. <laughs> yeah, we need to put her down. We need you to do it on the ground. No, we want to put her on a cart and then we, we you will be able to put it on her. Easy. Well, all our carts are working right now. I bet. Well, do you think that this doesn't work? Huh? You got this doesn't work? No. Nothing you ever do, especially vlogging, is work. That's not true. It's... <laughs> ah, Jessica can help us. <laughs> Jessica can help us. Perfect. I knew I could enlist somebody. But Noah's going to try first. Yeah. That'll be fun. No, where are you at? He's getting a cart. It's for some reason you think getting a cart matters. Oh, she licked my eyeball. <laughs> that looks pretty good, no? It looks pretty good, but what? the dog leash isn't going to go through that. Yeah, it is. <laughs> That's a bigger... Well, look and see. We should have brought the little and guess, puppy one. And guess what? Didn't. You ended up helping. I told you we were going to need your help. <laughs> <laughs> no shit. <laughs> okay, you guys ready for Bella's uh, first walk on Bella's a leash? Bella's big adventure. I don't know what she's going to do, Where Bella. Where Okay, so first attempt at harness walking Bella. You know, it went all right. She walked a couple times, but she didn't like the harness too much. So I just ended up taking it off her. We're gonna go back to the shop now and get her back inside. I don't wanna stress her out and I don't wanna, you know, not have her trust. So uh, we gave her a little bit. She did okay. Uh, we're gonna have to just keep on working. I think, you know, two or three, four times and she starts to get more comfortable, it'll be okay. But uh, for now, she needs to go back to the comforts of home. All right, guys, so I'm about to get a little bit deep with you guys, and some people will say, I don't like when you do this, Brian, and other people will say, whatever. Anyways, 
I do want to talk about something because I really, I don't know why, I understand that the vast majority of you that are watching, I haven't met. But I feel like we're a family and I feel like we're a community and for some strange reason it feels therapeutic to talk to you guys. So I had an up and down day today. You know, I know you guys always see the positive Brian and, and, and I try to look at things as positively as I can. But that doesn't mean that I'm not a human being, you know. I have my ups and I have my downs. And, and you know, I try really hard to have a great message. And I try hard to get people to love animals and, and get people to just kind of fall in love with my ideology of life. And it's really tough sometimes. And, and some of you will say, you got to stop feeding into this crap. But, but every now and then I've got to bring it up. <laughs> It's hard to be hated by a lot of people for what you think are reasons that don't make sense. If I was a terrible person, I would understand the hate. And as a matter of fact, if I was a terrible person, I wouldn't care about the hate. And I'm not saying I'm perfect. Of course I do things that I, I wish I wouldn't do. And sometimes I step over the line with this vlog and with, with my main channel. But I try really hard. And... and in all the things that are happening out there in, in the world, and in particular maybe the reptile world, it shocks me that I'm the guy that they decide is the worst person in the hobby, and it hurts. And and I know the haters are probably loving that I'm even addressing them, and maybe I shouldn't, but I just wanted to get it off my chest. I mean, the fact that there's Facebook groups that are dedicated to hate me, Instagram pages that are dedicated to hate on me, the fact that people are so obsessed to find that I have fruit flies in my collection that they've got to point it out, or the fact that Lori dipped a mouse in a sardine so there was a sardine residue, and people just had to say, there's, I'm, feeding my rodent, I'm feeding bad rodents to my snakes. Do I have to explain myself on every single thing I do? So anyways, guys, I'm just telling you this because, you know, it got to me today. I felt bad. I felt really bad. I felt down. But I'm going to be okay. And the only way I really know how to solve it is to talk to you guys, number one, be around my family who supports me. And then, you know, the good news is we have a couple clutches of colubrid eggs and a couple clutches of ball pythons I can pull in. I'm sure that'll cheer me up. So I hope you guys don't mind that I shared this with you. Uh... I just want to be honest, so anyways, why do you say we pull some snake eggs? Let me say one more thing that I forgot. Now, a lot of my friends, and I have a lot of friends and, and uh, people I've done business with that have respect for me, and even some of you that are watching right now see bad things about me, and it hurts me to no end that you don't stick up for me. <laughs> you go... Wow, that's so bad that they said that about Brian, but yet you stay quiet. And I understand, you know, if you speak up for me, maybe you're going to get beat up. And why would you want to put yourself out like that? But it still sucks. I mean, when I see my friend getting beat up, I always come to their defense. So, okay, enough negativity. Let's get back to positivity. Okay, guys, and I'm sure in the comments you guys will cheer me up as you always do. All right, so we have our first pyro or Arizona mountain king snake clutch uh, that was laid today and this is actually a het hypomelanistic pyro uh, and I'm going to show you right now these are the Arizona mountain king and look at how beautiful that snake is go ahead and put her back in her cage and let's see how many eggs she's got here oh it's a nice clutch too well primarily nice looks like got two four five eggs so it looks like there's one slug so we'll get those set up and like I said I think I only have one other Kluber clutch and then I've got a couple ball pipe end clutches so uh, we'll check and see what's next so the next clutch is a coral snow motley corn snake and looks like she's in the box let's see what she's got going on over here I see her clutch of eggs oh there she is there's a little girl. Well, it's a little girl, too. She's one of my tiny corns. Again, this is a first-year female that's pretty small, but she certainly looked like she had a pretty nice clutch of eggs. Let's take a look and see what she did here. So look at how beautiful are those. Two, four, six, eight, nine. So nine good eggs. That's that's pretty good for a girl at that size. And again, the coral snow are the ones that are really pink, and the motley is a recessive mutation, and then the snow is a double recessive mutation. So you actually have albino black 
black, motley, all recessive mutations, and then the coral is polygenic, which is lime bred for the most pink. So uh, we'll get these eggs set up and then we'll go check some ball pythons. Well, it actually turns out that there's only one clutch of eggs today, and it's actually a head albino female, and this is actually bred to an albino clown. So we'll get albinos that are half her clown and double half her clowns from this breeding. So let's see what this girl has here. Oh, it's a nice clutch of eggs too. Look at that. It's really a beautiful clutch of eggs. Whew. I tell you what, that is really a nice clutch of eggs. There's two, four, six, seven eggs. So uh, those are pearly white eggs. So uh, we'll go ahead, get this in an incubator box, uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and shut it down for the night and go ahead and take these eggs home. So just have to put them in here. I'll do all my due diligence as far as marking, and that is it for the night. So, listen guys, I'm sorry to get kind of deep on you. Hey, I have ups and downs. I don't want you to think that life is perfect for me. And uh, the reality is, is that you guys are awesome. And I appreciate it. And, and you, you know, going on this journey, sometimes there's going to be speed bumps. And I want you guys to know I'm an honest person, and, and, and I'm, I'm not forcing positivity on you guys. So, uh, take it for what it is. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Thank you as always for everything that you do for me. Your support means the world to me. Do me a favor and smash the like button and hit that notification bell. Be kind to somebody. It's important. It really, really is. I'll see you guys tomorrow.